That was the very first dock. Gracie tore it down in 59. The front of this building blew off. But I'd safely say it took us just a shade over a month and they were working again. Because he worked hard to get this thing going, him and mother, both of them. They, uh, they would work. A lot of times we'd work day and night. My gosh, <laughs> when the when the sun sets are just right, they'll line up on that yeah. causeway. By the time we got everything up and running from the hurricane, then the flood came. And it messed everything up again, so I, I never finished up what I was trying to finish from the hurricane. All of this was just torn all to pieces. Even that was torn up and they put it back together the best they could. And uh, I remember him talking about when he was a little boy, his dad would say they worked from, from, from can see to can't see. And uh, that's just always the way it's been. And uh, just a hard working, good people. So we decided, you know what, if, if my company throws in the labor and your company helps throw in some of the materials, we can put some uh, GoFundMe stuff together and get some uh, community support, then we can build this thing and, and try to do it so that you know, gay seafood can be up and running by fish season. They've got enough to worry about trying to fix the ice makers, trying to fix the freezers, trying to fix the inside sales counters to get that up. They're going to do that by fish season or by shrimp season. We'll take care of the dock so that they don't have that hanging over their heads. I'm going to be honest with you, I was shocked because um, Everybody knew the place was for sale, and uh, I'm embarrassed by it that I that we can't do it ourselves. Like I said, they uh, uh, not only have not asked any help. Charles made the comment that he was concerned, didn't know how, didn't know how they were going to pay for the material, and that's why I told him. I said, "Well, Charles, I said we this is we're something we want to do," and he made the comment that his daddy had told him, "If you can't." pay for something yourself, you don't expect charity, and that's when my wife said, It's not charity, it's a barn raisin. Exactly. But we've changed that now from a barn raisin to a dock raisin. <laughs> Passed through here, all walks of life, just uh, that have, have dealt with the gays over the years and want to help. Anybody and everybody is welcome. We'll make sure that the, the volunteers are, are put to work safely. And of course, Dick's Dex and Docks is doing that gratis on the house just because gay seafood's been around since. I think 1945, and so we would like to put that place back on the map so that we can continue to get the best shrimp in the low country.